You know, I have, I have no idea what is in Vladimir Putin's mind. I only know what his behavior is, what his previous choices are, and what he has said he wants to do in the world. Uh, and so it is of grave concern uh, to all of us uh, what he is doing today and what plans he may have for the future. But I think what he's going to find out is this will not be so easy. Uh, the Ukrainian people have lived for many years now with democracy and freedom. They are resisting now. They will resist in the future. It will be at great cost to Putin. It will be at great cost to the Russian people. You know, I am a mother and a grandmother. I cannot imagine uh, having one of my children, my grandchildren, uh, return to me in a body bag. It would just be devastating. That is what mothers and fathers and grandparents in Russia are going to experience. There are already hundreds, if not thousands, of Russians who have died in Ukraine. Uh, it is, of course, the same for the Ukrainian people. It is devastating. It is a human toll. And again, that he would attack a kindergarten, an orphanage, uh, that we see uh, Ukrainians in uh, subway uh, shelters and bomb shelters uh, with babies and infants uh, still who were in intensive care tied up uh, to uh, batteries uh, to make sure they can continue to live. Uh, this is, these are horrifying images uh, for all people. Uh, we want to provide support what, in whatever way is possible under the circumstances and to let the Ukrainian people know that we stand in solidarity with them. We are completely admiring of their courage. We are admiring of the courage of actually the Russian people who have come into the street to say they do not want war to the journalists, the cultural leaders who have said they do not want war to the athletes who have stood up with signs at international competitions and said, we don't want war. Um, so what I would say to the Ukrainian people more than anything is we stand with you. We stand with you.